Registering must-haves. This is a topic that everyone has their own opinion on and can be really passionate about what you need, what you don't need. I'm currently in my third trimester. I have not given birth yet, so I can't tell you exactly what was necessary and what wasn't, but this is my personal perspective on my minimum registry must-haves. I live in a one-bedroom apartment with my husband. This is our first child, and I wanted to keep things as minimum as possible because since we are going to be in a one bedroom when we give birth i didn't want to have a bunch of clutter a bunch of mess i did not have a lot of available room to put things so i really put it down to what i considered to be the most essential items this was based on my own research as well as talking to different family members who have had kids already and what they found to be the most necessary so this is everything that i included i did a registry through amazon and i included 55 items and so kind of go through what we consider to be the most necessary items and some of the things we ended up not doing or things that we got gifted that were really helpful as well so if you're interested hit that subscribe button and keep watching okay so under the activity and gear section the first thing we have is just a little baby sit-up chair even though she won't be using this at first i plan to breastfeed and so she won't be eating normal solids although even if you do formula it's the same until at least six months that's when you can start introducing a little bit of food but i still figured it would be helpful for her to be able to sit at the table with us when that time comes so the baby sit-up chair the next thing is a bassinet so we definitely splurged on this a little more because we live in such a small space and they do recommend having your baby in a bassinet for the first six months to a year, depending on the size of your bassinet and how quickly your child grows. We didn't really want to do a crib. We do have a crib and I'll get to that later, but we wanted the bassinet to be the main thing that our daughter was lying in, sleeping in, sitting in while we're in the apartment just because it's a lot smaller and cribs take up a lot more space. So even though we have this the crib, we probably won't be putting it together until we move and she's actually going to be sleeping in it. And so with our bassinet, we did get one of those rocking bassinets. I forget what the brand is. There's this brand of bassinets. It's like $2,000 or $1,200 or something, in my opinion, that's crazy. Um, and it does like all these rocking motions and it's supposedly really amazing because a lot of times babies will cry at the night because they just want to be held and moved and, and soothed and so it takes away the need to get up in the middle of the night just to soothe that that way you're just getting up when she's hungry or she needs a diaper changed or something like that and so I did not want to spend 1500 or or ask somebody to spend all of that money but I did some research and I found that the best dupe for it was the Four Moms Mama Roo Multi Motion. Oh, I'm not even reading the right thing. That's our baby swing. This is also in the wrong section, I'm realizing. Okay, it's the Graco, or however you say it, Graco, Graco. Sense to Snooze Bassinet with Cry Detection Technology. Baby Bassinet Detects and Responds to Baby's Cries. And this was, okay, sorry about that. And sorry if I'm in slightly a different position. My computer died, so I had to grab my laptop. But I got myself confused anyway. I was talking about, I'm in the activity and gear section. It was a baby swing, but at first glance, I thought it was a bassinet. So I'll get to the bassinet later. The second item is a baby swing. I heard that these are really great. They do rocking motions. So it's great for like soothing and rocking your baby. And also I work from home, so it's great since I'm gonna be watching her and working to be able to have her just next to me in the swing kind of on her own. Obviously I can put her around me and things too, but it's nice to have another spot for her to go. The next thing is the baby's um, lay down to sitting up map. It has, it says three in one newborns activity center with tummy time, toys, pillows, and infant mirror. So this is great for being able to do tummy time, have kind of like an activity center and just an area for her to kind of play. The next thing is a baby wrap carrier. So as I mentioned, I work from home, so this will be really great to have her around me while I'm at home, being able to breastfeed and just have her sit there as well will be 
really awesome or just have her there while I'm going around doing chores or cooking or anything. The next one, this actually isn't something I pulled the trigger, not, trigger on yet. We weren't gifted it and we're trying to decide if it's really necessary or not, but it's more of an outdoor one. So this one that we did get, it's more of like the soft wrap that you wrap around yourself versus the harder shell one which is just for when you're leaving the house. Those are a little bit expensive, they're $100, so just trying to figure out is this something we really need right away or is this something we can hold for a little bit since we're not gonna be out of the house that much when she's in the newborn phase anyway. Okay, the next section is bathing. So we have the little bath, it's called a um, just a baby bather, it's a toddler bath since obviously you cannot put your newborn in a bathtub. So that is the next item that we got. The next two we actually haven't gotten and I don't know if they're quite necessary or not. I took some classes through my local hospital where I'm giving birth and they mentioned like having a towel to put your baby around. So I have specifically baby towels on here, but she might be okay in regular adult towels. I still have to figure that out, but that is something I added in case someone wanted to gift it to us. I also had baby um, soap, and we did get gifted a different one, I believe, by someone, so I think we're good on this. We won't need to get this from the registry, but we do have that, and also from my class, when they were teaching us about bathing, they said you don't necessarily need soap or can just use a small amount. So I think the one we are gifted will be able to last quite a bit because we're not really getting dirty or moving around. So that was something that we included. Okay, for diapering, we have the odor locking like diaper trash can. Supposedly it hides the odor so that you're not smelling poopy diapers all day in your house that we were gifted. So that's awesome. And then we just have um, the changing pad covers, the changing pad liners, changing pad. Um, that's all for the changing table. And then baby diaper rash. So those things are necessary for us because our changing table is our main area of changing her diapers. And so obviously having liners and pads and covers to go on that are necessary and then diaper rash cream that's something I added later after watching my class also so we don't have that one yet but we'll probably purchase it or if we don't get it ahead of time if she does get a rash purchase it when that time comes and the trash can obviously not necessary if you're really really on a budget and minimum I don't think that's necessary but of course it's a nice asset to have to not have to smell diapers in your house Okay, so for feeding, as I mentioned, we are doing um, breastfeeding, or that's our goal. Hopefully, God willing, we will be able to breastfeed, but I do plan on pumping um, when I can so that my husband can also help with some of the feeding. So the things that we have under feeding is silicone baby bibs and feeding set for when she is able to start eating regular food, which is around the six month mark or later. Um, then we just have burp cloths, baby bibs, and bottles for pumping. So all of those things we have been gifted, which we're very fortunate about. Birthing cloths are super essential. My sister had a baby last fall and I was there over Christmas and he definitely made the burping cloths. So that's definitely really important. And then of course the bibs and everything when she starts eating and the bottles so my husband can help out when I pump. Okay, under health and baby care, we put some pacifiers, a baby monitor, and a nasal exasperator. So we were gifted the pacifiers. Those are just super great for soothing baby. The monitor we were not gifted, and I think this is something we're going to hold on. I don't think we're going to purchase it ourselves just because we're still in our one-bedroom apartment. We're not planning on moving until maybe she's six months or so. Um... So I feel like until we're in a bigger space, the monitor is not as necessary and we'll probably just purchase that down the road once we move. The nasal aspirator, we also were not gifted, but again, for my sister, I know that this is super necessary because babies cannot blow their own nose and they get snot and things. And so we'll probably purchase that ourselves. And then for nursing, bedding and essentials, we just have crib sheets for our crib and then also the baby milestone blanket so i'll get to the crib when 
I get to that on this list, but of course you need sheets for the crib. And then the baby milestone blanket, that was something I added recently just because I do think it'll be fun to take transition photos of how much she grows every month. It's not a necessity. I just love photos and videos and having not like proof, but like I'm just very nostalgic. So I love to look back on those kinds of things. So that is something that I'll probably purchase because I think it'll be really fun to do. Okay, so then under nursery furniture, this is where the crib comes in and the bassinet. Um, so we have the mattress for the crib, the crib, the changing table, and the bassinet. So I went back and forth on if we wanted to do a crib or not on our registry because as I mentioned, we're in a small space and the bassinet is really where she's gonna be sleeping for the first six months to year. So I was thinking, you know, do I just wait and get the crib when we move? But since cribs are more expensive, I decided I would put it on the registry. And I'm very fortunate that we had family gift this to us and all the accessories that go with the crib. And so I haven't decided yet if we're just gonna keep it in the box and once we move, unbox it and put it together there, or if we will end up putting it together here just as another space for her to go while I'm working or we're doing other activities. It really depends on space. We're still putting together kind of like, I call it the baby corner, <laughs> um, which is like the one area of our house in the living room where we did have some space. That is where I'm putting like her changing table, her baby swing, the bassinet will be in the bedroom with us. So if we end up having room, I'll put it there, but I don't, I don't know if we will still figuring that out but we did decide to go with that now just because it is a more expensive item and so of course it was really helpful having that gifted to us the changing table again i got one with organizers one because well the changing table is just nice to change diapers but i got the one with the organizers because since we're in a small space i really prioritize getting as much to organize everything as possible and then the bassinet i touched on this a little bit earlier the brand name um, is Greco Sense to Snooze Bassinet with cry detection. So apparently that's the best dupe for the really expensive one. It doesn't show the cost on here, but I'm pretty sure it was around $300. So versus like $1,500, it was $300. So definitely a better deal. We'll see if it's worth it, but I thought that it seemed definitely worth it to kind of have those rocking motions. It has sound a sound machine on it. We do have a hatch. You can see it in the corner there on my nightstand. So we'll also be using that. That's something we previously had. Yeah, it just has a lot of cool effects and you know, God willing, we would love to have more kids. So it's something we can use for all of our future kids as well. And then under nursing, I have a breastfeeding cover, um, silver nursing cups, flangey, nipple cream, breast milk storage bags, um, a breast pump and accessories and then nursing pads so I was gifted with a cover which is amazing I did not get any of the silver nursing cups or the flanges so I'm probably going to be purchasing those my sister-in-law is actually a lactation specialist so she really recommended the silver nursing cups for recovery and postpartum and then also getting flanges that actually fit your nipple size because a lot of breast pumps just come with generic sizing. And she taught me how to measure my nipple and mine is a lot smaller than what these breast pumps come with. So it, that was really helpful and I can just replace it on the breast pump so that it actually fits to my nipple size versus just the generic oversized one. So I'll probably be getting those two things um, as well as nipple cream because that was also something I was not gifted and the breast milk storage bags that was something that I still need so I'll probably be purchasing that the breast pump I did find out that that was covered by my insurance so I actually just placed an order for that the other day and we'll have to pay for that which is awesome so definitely check through your insurance to see if they cover breast pumps or not and I got the Spectra S2 the S1 wasn't covered for some reason but the S2 was I think the only difference is one is portable and one's not so i think it'll still be good hopefully it'll still work and it's more of a electronic one versus manual and then the nursing pads my sister gave me a box of them but she said i probably would need more so i put another box which i was not gifted but since i already have one box from her i'll probably just wait till i go through those and then if i need more i'll place an order for more 
Okay, so then for strollers and car seats, we did a car mirror and a toddler car seat. So we were gifted the car mirror, which is awesome. Obviously being able to see your baby when you're driving is very important. I did not put an infant um, car seat because my mother-in-law actually gifted us a stroller and a car seat in one, which was so generous. So that wasn't on her registry since she already had told us she's gonna be purchasing that for us. I did put on a toddler one just because once they outgrow it, they'll need the toddler one. That one was more expensive and was not gifted to us, so I'll probably just hold on that because it's not something that we need for a few years. It's just something I added because it's a more expensive item, but we are totally covered for now. For toys and books, I don't know why this falls under this category, but a teether for some reason falls under that. Um, we were gifted the teether, which is of course very helpful for when her teeth grow in. I did not put any toys and books on my registry because I just know that at baby showers and things people love to get toys and books and also clothes. I did not put any clothes on my registry because I knew that we would have plenty of clothes and I was right. I had my baby shower about a month ago and we were given so, so many clothes and books and toys. So very blessed and fortunate for all of that. But it's not something I included in the registry just because I know people like to buy those things. Anyway, I really kept it with the necessities on the registry. Okay, and then under other, it's very weird how Amazon classifies some of these things. Like the first thing is bassinet sheets, which you would think would be under the same category as the bassinet, but no. Okay, so bassinet sheets, fresh food feeder, an organizer, a clothing rack, a baby hammock, a nail kit, a hairbrush. Wow, they put a lot under this section. <laughs> a diaper changing pad, portable diaper bag, bassinet mattress and pad cover, postpartum pads, peri bottle, moisturizing skin cream, a rack for your bottles, some breastfeeding camis, and a baby nose cleaner and ear wax removal. Of course, we needed bassinet sheets to go to the bassinet and we were gifted that. The food feeder just helps break down food once you start feeding them so that it's more digestible and easier for them to eat. We were gifted that as well. The organizer, my sister gifted us that as well as my aunt, which was so generous because that is just allowing us to put so many items. I'm still organizing it, so I don't know exactly what yet right now. I'm kind of putting all the clothes in different sizes in there to see what we have for each size. but. Um, that is so helpful to be able to just have a place to put everything. An extra clothing rack because with baby clothes you're going to be doing a lot more laundry. We were gifted that which was super nice. Um, same with the laundry, um, the laundry hamper for the baby so that we can keep her clothes in it. A lot of times you have to specially wash baby clothes so it's nice to be able to kind of keep them separate. Um, the nail clips are just made because her nails are so small. The hairbrush also is just like a special hairbrush and the portable diaper changing pad will be super useful for when we're not at home and need to change her diaper. Same with the diaper bags, we can carry all the diapers and all the things that we need. Bassinet mattress pad are necessary um, and all those things we were gifted which we we're so so grateful. Everything we were gifted everyone was so generous. We were so so grateful. Um, and then some things I added kind of last minute as I was going through postpartum needs were like the pads and the peri bottle. We weren't gifted those since I literally added them a few days ago, but I'll, we'll probably purchase those ourselves just to help with postpartum care. The moisturizing skin cream, I'll probably go without for now. Um, the bottle drying rack, we weren't gifted, but I don't think it's super necessary, so we're probably not going to go with that. The camis, I decided, um, some of these things, some of the things that I'm saying, I decided we're probably not going to go with it. I ended up privatizing because I kind of realized that and didn't want people to prioritize that over other things. Um, so the camis I probably won't order because I just decided to get like this and some dresses that tie at the top and things that will still be easy for breastfeeding, but will also be cute and breathable um, during a Florida summer, but also I can keep wearing after. And then the baby nose cleaner and earwax removal, we weren't gifted that. I'm pretty sure my sister said 
is what's necessary so I'll probably just check with her and confirm that before ordering it but we'll probably end up doing that so that's everything that we included on our registry there's also um I wanted to mention pregnancy pillow that my sister gifted me this has been a life changer <laughs> my husband hates it because it's so large and takes up so much space on the bed but sleeping definitely became a lot harder and more uncomfortable in my second trimester and once I hit 20 weeks, you have to sleep on your side. I'm a back sleeper, so that was super challenging for me. And even though I'd go to sleep on my side, I'd wake up on my back. And so that's really helped me to force myself to sleep on my side and just fall asleep more comfortably. So I highly recommend a pregnancy pillow. And then my sister also gifted me with like 10 boxes of newborn diapers and baby wipes. So. Those are some things that were not on the registry since she had gifted those to us. But yeah, that's everything that's on my registry must-haves. I will probably do some sort of update after I have the baby on what maybe I needed to purchase after that I didn't have or maybe what we purchased that wasn't actually necessary overall. But in my opinion, these are the most necessary items. I know some people have a lot more items than that like i said i had 55 items on here i know my sister had like 200 so just to give you a reference on typical registry sizes <laughs> um but she also had a lot of books and clothes and things like that okay as i'm going through the baby organizer filming some b-roll i realized too some gifts that we got that weren't on my registry that are super helpful was the haka which can just help i think you put it on one breast when you're breastfeeding on the other to collect extra milk on there so that you can collect it that way and then also the i think they're called mousselin blankets that you can use to swaddle your baby or just keep them warmer whatever those are also useful so i just wanted to pop in and include that also i know i mentioned my sister gifted me a ton of diapers but also at my baby shower my mom did a game where people wrote like little cute messages on it for when you're changing diapers so i also got a bunch of diapers that way and it was really cute so definitely a good baby shower game if you're looking for some okay last pop in but something else i forgot to mention that my sister also gifted me my sister if you cannot tell mvp she gifted me so many things which was so generous um was a breastfeeding cup or not cover um pillow so that i can have it be more comfortable when i'm breastfeeding so that was also something if you guys have any essentials that I didn't mention that were useful for you, leave them down in the comments so that we can help out other people. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye!